he really thought that they wouldn't yeah. hurt him. They thought the drugs wouldn't hurt him because they weren't re they weren't illegal. That's what altered him severely, and his addiction just spun literally out of control. Jay was the jokester to the family. He always had uh, the best interest in making everybody laugh and making them uh, giggle and keeping the mood up and doing everything like that. Uh, he was also the sporty one. He could do every kind of sport and he was very athletic. He could do everything to the best of his ability and uh, very rarely anybody could beat him out. He was the guy with good looks, the guy that girls chased after. They uh, wanted Jay. Jay was kind of the rebel. He he would never really uh, follow what you exactly wanted him to say. He would do what he wanted to do and do what he needed to do to just be Jay. Jay's outlook on life was to have fun. To have fun. He wanted everyone around him to be happy. He didn't like if someone had a grimace or looked sad. Um, it made him kind of nervous, actually, and he would ask um, inquisitively, what was wrong? Are you happy? Do you like your life? <laughs> um, it was, you know, things like that. He just didn't like when people looked upset. In eighth grade, he told me for the first time that he had tried it. And at the time, I didn't really, I knew it was smoking, but I didn't really know what weed was. And so he told me he smoked it, and so I was kind of okay with it. So I kept it a secret and didn't really tell anyone. But I think I was about eight and a half. My parents had real suspicions that my brother was doing some types of drugs throughout his high school, starting his freshman year because he was doing really well, and then he kind of downfalled into this uh, not caring mood. Um, but they really found out when my brother came back from an OTC, which is a swim camp, and one of his good friends came up to her and said, uh, your son needs help. After they found out, they really didn't know what to do, um, they kind of just in shock or in, in awe that really like your son's doing this what do you do when your son is uh, doing something you never really would thought he'd do one day during I think it was his summer break of uh, 2010 he came home really high and uh, kind of angered my dad so he took away his car and after that for a while while he was home for that whole summer he uh, straightened up and was doing pretty well until late in the fall when he started getting uh, back into drugs. By October of 2010, he entered his, by the end of October, he was in two drug rehabilitation programs. Then in January, the third rehabilitation program. After he got home, he was all right for a while. He did uh, pretty well and he was just, he just smoked cigarettes because he was just trying to keep a little bit on the straight, um, same path, straight and narrow of his certain path. And then he started getting these things. He might have done it before, but I really didn't notice it till after he got back from his rehabilitation center. He started getting these things called spice and bath salts, which is like fake weed and then fake like other drugs like meth and stuff like that. And those really screwed up his brain, caused him to be more angry, more out of there. Um, he was just always wanting them and always doing them and just kind of made him agitated and very, he almost, he just looked uh, like a drug addict, it looked like he wasn't Jay anymore. I remember him, he looked at me and he was crying and um, he had, some of his best friends were home from spring break from college that week and he said, Mom, I apologize for for being such a jerk and he says I wish I could take back the last year and a half of my life and do it all over again because this isn't how I wanted to end up. Later on in the next few months he tried to stop. He actually just tried smoking cigarettes and uh, just tried um, keeping out of the bath salts because he knew he they were taking over his life and he, he couldn't really stop. Uh, and then so he started doing what he used to do he started choking himself out with an extension cord. And instead of catching himself before he passed out, he fell into it and uh, didn't wake up after that. The night before he died, or actually the day before he died, we, uh, we sat and watched a movie together day, that day. 
dad didn't like it too well. It wasn't a very good movie, so he, he told us to turn it off. We kind of hung out the whole day. I stayed home from school on that Thursday, and then we just hung out. And later in the day, I remember walking down the hallway, and my brother was sitting in his room, and he was crying, and I didn't know he was crying. So I asked him, like, bro, why are you crying? And he he said, my, my girlfriend, she's never going to love me again. And I was like, oh, no, that's that's not true. She'll end up loving you. And she's, he's like, yeah, man, she doesn't. She doesn't love me anymore. Like, I don't know what to do. And I didn't really know what to say to that. So I just kind of told you, I was like, I love you, bro. And that was really kind of the last time I ever saw my brother. You know, you hear of people lo losing their children at a younger age, and you think, wow, that's a tragedy, or, oh, I feel sad for them. That would be so hard if I lost a child. Um, I think while I'm tearing up, but also something that kind of makes you draw a blank is you cannot even explain the heartache that comes from losing a child. It's never the same again because there's that missing component, that person, it's like a, a hole in your family. There's an empty chair at the table when you eat. There's an unoccupied bedroom that somebody's not coming home to. My mom was at a Wendy's uh, once and uh, one of my sisters was in the hospital and uh, this boy walked in and he had on these, uh, he had on the hospital garments because it was like right next to the hospital and he was asking for some food and he kind of looked as if he were a um, drug addict in a way. He, I think he was wearing a band that said like he had overdosed or he had done something and that's why he was in the hospital. And so my mom um, offered to uh, get him food so she uh, told him to get whatever you want and so he got whatever you want and she paid for it and then he went and sat down and he was sitting behind her and so before she left she thought about getting one of these bracelets that we gave out after my brother died. So she went and got one and he said um, that it helped him out a lot and he would think about uh, my brother who had died of drugs and it would go from there. <laughs>